Well, that was a tired welcome, wasn't it? Let me do that one again. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and welcome to my full week of workouts. Today, I'll be talking you guys through my fitness journey, my current workout program, and most importantly, I will answer the questions that I get asked the most. How do you find motivation? How do you stay consistent? And how do you stick to working out almost every single day? I'm going to bring you guys along with me for a full week of my workouts, including my pre and post workout nutrition, because if you want to grow, girl, you got to eat. Okay, so I don't know about you, but my weeks always start with a leg day. Always, because it's simply the best workout and I have to admit it's the most painful workout you could possibly ever do. So I like to rip it right off like a band-aid. It's breakfast time. Let's go. Not gonna lie though. I also love leg days because they make me feel so freaking strong. My legs put muscle the fastest out of my body and a little confidence boost. Whenever you can lift heavy never hurts nobody, right? Happy Tuesday. Let's go to the gym. Obviously not. We have to eat something before doing that and get dressed. When we're talking about motivation and when I'm trying to explain to you guys how I found it and how you maybe eventually can find it too, it's always important to look back at the way behind you. Things you have done, things you have experienced, things that shape the person that you are today. People always say it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And I guess to a certain degree, that's true. If you want to improve yourself, fixating on your goal is nice and all, but to be honest, it's not really going to help. It's going to boost you, but for improvement, you have to look back. You have to experience this very moment and you have to learn. You have to change. Cheers. This is the pre-workout that I'm using. It's the Sour Peach Candy Pre-Workout from Women's Best. It tastes really, really good, actually. Some pre-workouts can give you a tickling feeling on your skin. I think that's because of the better alanine that's in there. Do you know that feeling when you're really full from drinking? Ask me right now. Just half a year ago, I felt completely different about working out than I do now. And in another six months from now, I will probably feel a whole lot of different about it as well. Because we grow, we evolve, we change. Change is normal and it's beautiful. I didn't grow up being an active child. I hated working out. And up until like a year ago, that non-amicable feeling didn't really change. And it probably would have never had if I wouldn't have pushed myself to change my relationship with fitness. I made myself get up early, do home workouts, following amazing and motivating women day by day, falling more and more in love with fitness. Going back to the gym eventually felt like a very natural progression to me. This was filled up until the very top with spinach. What is that? There's like three leaves left. I do want to mention that I'm still fairly a beginner when it comes to proper form, so please do not take this video for educational very purposes. Delicious. I know, I still have a lot to improve, and hey, I'm willing to. Pre-workout. 
morning. You bring your coffee with you. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk about my workout guys, shall we? Right now, I am following the Strong program on the Tone and Sculpt app both created by Chrissy Chella. If you don't know Chrissy, listen, you are missing out on some fun. She's a UK-based fitness trainer and entrepreneur. Ken, did I say that right? And quite literally, a ray of sunshine. Where Lily Sabri made me fall in love with moving my body, this woman made me fall in love with lifting weights and getting strong. The Tony Sculpt app holds different workout programs by different trainers, as well as a nutritional part where you can find recipes and create yourself a meal plan based on your goals. Listen, I'm no newbie when it comes to workout apps and programs. It feels like I've actually tried them all. I've used the Sweat app, Tona Sculpt, Alive. I follow Pamela, Lily, Chloe, you name it. But Chrissy made me stick to a program for eight weeks now, and that does mean something with me. Within the Strong Guide, you can pick your level. Whether you are a total beginner or an expert, you can adjust this guide according to your needs and skills. I started out within the intermediate level and upgraded to advanced after two weeks because I wanted a bit more of a challenge. I know some of you might be wondering why I'm following a pre-made plan and why the heck I'm willing to pay money for that. It's simple. It makes my life easier. Mm. Yes, right now, at this point, I could probably sit down and write my own program, but truth be told, when I started going back to the gym, I couldn't. I knew exercises, yes, but I felt lost as soon as I stepped foot in the gym. And by one click, escaping that fear and feeling guided and protected, it gave me a big feeling of comfort, sort of like a hug. And right now, to be completely honest with you, I just lack the time. If I were to write my own workout program, I would need time. Time for research, time for trial and error. And as a busy student, I just don't have that time. Yes, following Chrissy's program costs money, but as long as I can afford it, I'm glad to spend it. However, know that you do not have to pay for fitness. If you have the time, the curiosity and the passion, I am not going to hold you back from creating your own plan. You go, girl. Feel like falling deeper, caught a nice night, no more shit on. Keys on the edge, and I'm no more kid on. Just a mess, I don't miss you, go. Keep them on, I'm in good tonight, him did all. Happy Friday and happy leg day. We just got ready with our lectures for today and we're now heading out to the gym. So without any further ado, let's go. All right now, I do not want to give out any details in this video about my plan as it is a paid for guide and I don't want to get in trouble with Chrissy and her team for handing out her hard earned program for free. But what I will say is that she definitely didn't reinvent fitness. You can never go wrong with the good old compound movements and a split plan. And those two things luckily are basics that you can quickly learn about pretty much anywhere online. What I want to focus on instead for the rest of this video is the much bigger question, which I'm always getting. How do I find motivation to work out almost every single day? And how do I stay motivated? Motivation is a tricky little thing. We hear a lot about it, people base their entire careers around it, and it seems like something we really should have. Without it, we are lost souls. Listen, this is so very not true. Motivation isn't something you must have, and definitely not everyone that is successful has it. Feeling motivated is a very nice thing. It's nice to have a drive, a force that makes you do things and actually enjoy them, but you should never rely on it because there's no way that you're going to feel that way every step along the way. With fitness, a lot of people start out very motivated because they have a specific goal, mostly physical. They want to look good for the beach, for their significant other, for an event, or even better, for themselves. So they hit the gym, show up to their self-scheduled YouTube classes every day for a week and for another one. And then they check themselves out to see the change and they don't see it. 
they get frustrated and fitness suddenly seems like a waste of time, like a chore that they have to do, a road that doesn't lead anywhere, or not within the speed that they want. You see where I'm trying to go with this, right? All right, listen up, because I'm now about to spill my secrets. There are three things that I've learned that make me stick to my routine. Number one, you have to build that said routine. Push yourself to show up, to do your workout, even when you do not feel like it. Yes, there are days where I so do not want to get up at 5.30 a.m. before my classes and hit the gym, but I know that at night the gym will be too packed and it will make me anxious and most importantly, I will be too tired to work out, which is okay. Dental school is very physically and mentally exhausting and I wouldn't want to push my body over the edge by making it work out for one or one and a half hours when it's already tired. That is not good for my physical or mental health. Performing badly during a workout can really set the mood for the next upcoming ones and I would do anything to prevent that from happening. So I push myself to get up, to get ready and to go to the gym. Some days it's harder than others and that is normal. If I were to rely on my motivation though, girl, I wouldn't have seen my gym in like the last three weeks. But I don't rely on it because, number two, I know that it's good for me. Like, I just know, I feel it. I do not only know it theoretically or based on science, I know it based on my inner soul. I don't know if I make any sense right now to you, but I just feel like I'm in tune with my body at the moment. And I know when I'm not treating it right and I know when I am treating it right. And I actually, right now, listen to that knowledge. Knowing that working out brings out the better in me, mentally and physically, keeps me going. last day of the week which means it's the last time that we are going to be mixing all of the supplements together before heading to the gym today is going to be a full body session which i'm very excited for i have to be honest some weeks i skip the full body session because i do not have the time to fit in five days of working out in a week you know some days you get really busy and that's like the workout that i'm most willing to skip i like to stay within my 
normal split plan but if I do not have the time to do my full body session then so be it but today I do have the time it's a beautiful Sunday the weather is actually very very nice which does help a lot with motivation so I'm going to be mixing my pre-workout and my aminos when it comes to supplements though I do not always have aminos that depends on how I'm feeling that day I usually try to have them on leg days because they do help a little bit with muscle soreness although when it comes to expert opinions they do say you do not necessarily need aminos but they also taste really nice so that's a plus and then I take pre-workout and I do not always take that one either definitely on leg days because I do need energy for those I have weeks where I take that every single time before I'm heading to the gym and I have weeks where I take it like maybe once a week so this is definitely something where I'm like those supplements like it's very optional if you want to use them or not if you want to buy them or not the only supplement that I think you do need if you're trying to build muscle is protein because most of us especially women do struggle with getting in enough protein within their normal diet and I do not want to be eating seven to ten pounds of meat every single day. That being said, I'm going to mix these babies up right now and then we're off to the gym for our last session this week. Last day of the week and still one tip left, which means we're going to be talking about the third secret to never ending motivation right now. Chill, it's just rest days. Listen, I used to think the more workouts, the better. Seven days a week, I am a strong and fierce woman living the life and anyone else who works out less than that, they don't know what they're doing. I used to think that I would build more muscle and burn more calories that way, but truth be told, that is so far from the truth and I want to prevent you guys from falling down the same trap. Rest days are important for muscle growth, for personal growth and for rest, sleep eat relax toss that fitness tracker into the other corner of the room and let it be because you earn that rest and when i say rest girl i do not mean cardio i don't mean two hour walks or hula hooping or crunching yourself into feeling better i mean rest doing absolutely nothing being a couch potato living the life but why is rest important why does it help with motivation because it will prevent you from burning out as I mentioned earlier, performing badly during a workout sets the mood for upcoming ones. And when you're tired and burned out, your workouts will lack and you will feel like you aren't good enough to work out. And that will make it much harder to find motivation. Time for the closing words to reveal my secret and only those who stayed until the very end will ever truly know. I do not rely on motivation. I rely on discipline. That pretty much sums up this entire video and it applies to anything in life. Fitness, school, hobbies, careers. You have to push yourself even on days when it's hard. You will go through phases in your life where you do not enjoy what you're doing. And instead of giving up, I want you to keep on going, to keep on trying, to keep on showing up every day and working towards your goals. Look back at your way, look at how far you have come, how much you have grown as a person. I'm so proud of you. I really am. And you should be too. And now tell me that didn't boost your motivation. <laughs>